what's going on guys it's kyle here back with another video last time we talked about my absolute favorite movies of 2017 um you're probably thinking oh there's a lot of good movies came out this year well there's some pretty shitty ones as well and i'm here to give you my top five least liked movies of 2017 and my personal opinion coming up at number five is the wonderful amy schumer is back with snatched she loves talking about her vagina, so she's got to tell her movies about vaginas, you know, it just makes sense. Um, from her 2017 um, comedy special, the leather special, we already knew this movie was going to be shitty, just from the trailers. Um, Amy Schumer is probably my least favorite comedian out there. She, all she does is talk about her vagina, that's her one gag that she has for everything. Alright, that's we're talking about her. Let's talk about the movie. This movie is not funny, this movie is not good, this movie is not watchable. I mean, if it's on FX one day, I'll watch it again, because it is kind of entertaining. That's why it's only my number five. Um, I liked it more than I thought I would. This movie got dropped with, like, a three-star rating as soon as, like, the movie w um, was on its opening weekend. So you knew it was going to be bad from that. And it currently holds it, like, a five, I think, out of ten. Or four. I'm, I, I don't remember. But, um, yeah, this one was not... Good, but it has some rewatchable value because it's it's a pretty entertaining movie. That's why it's only at number five. Number four is Kidnapped, starring Halle Berry. This movie, oh my god, this movie was. It's one of those movies where you can't watch it and have a good time and still be bad. It's one of those movies that you just can't have a good time with it and being bad. It. Like, it knows it's bad. The movie is absolutely terrible. It's the acting, the directing, the the music is absolutely terrible. Uh, the editing, my god, the editing is horrendous. Um, it just knows it's a bad movie. But it's one of those movies where when you watch it, you know it's bad, but you try to have a good time with it. This is not one of those movies. When you watch it, you know it's bad. You cannot have an actual good time watching this movie. It is, it is very unwatchable <laughs> because of how bad it is. But anyways, um, Halle Berry just stick to big Hollywood movies because this was obviously a directed DVD and it will be on Netflix in about a month guarantee it number three diary of a wimpy kid the long haul from the trailer that we saw with the weird new cast and the meme not my Roderick we knew this movie was not going to be good um, the immediate backlash of uh, wimpy kid fans my me myself too like I hated the trailer and I knew it was gonna be bad um, I am an absolute fan of the Diary of the Wimpy Kid movies. From the first one, even to the third one, which I didn't like that much, I still love them all. Because they all had the same cast, and when you watch a movie, uh, multiple movies with the same cast, you get attached to them, you like what they're doing. And they're all fantastic actors, including Greg Heffley, the one that plays Greg Heffley, he's, a fan he's an awesome actor, um, Zachary Gordon. This one just had no good actors, this one just had zero potential. It was not funny. It was very, very direct and order and uh, targeted for kids, from the poop jokes and the potty humor and all that crap. Um, it is, no. um, the music was terrible. The editing was horrendous. I got into the movie with horrendous editing. And the one thing that gripes my gears the whole thing was just the acting. The acting is absolutely terrible. And the situ I will say it was kind of entertaining at points like the situations I got in. It's a road trip movie. It's a road trip movie that's geared towards kids. It's not funny. It is not rewatchable. I I absolutely wanted I wanted to throw it out the window once I I bought it. I know I rented it and watched it. And then I immediately turned it back the next day. It's that bad. Uh though. Anyways, number two is the emoji movie. Oh, yeah, we know this was coming. Um, by the way, these movies that was on my top ten list of my favorite movies and these ones that are my top five worst are only movies that I've actually seen. So, like, there might be a worst movie out there this year that came out that I have not seen. I'm not going to put it on there because I haven't seen it. But um, I was fortunate enough to go see the Emoji movie in theaters. Oh, man, this movie was abomination but i knew it was going to be bad because of the trailer and the backlash and the one million people that disliked the trailer i think it's a million i'm not sure if it's a million or not it should be a million uh we knew sony was just doing a cash grab to 
uh, leech onto kids because they know like, kids love emojis and stuff. But I don't even think the kids like this movie. Like, it was geared toward kids, but I don't think anybody in this entire planet even liked the emoji movie. Not even a little bit. Like, there's no redeeming quality to it at all. But, um, I will say the animation is really nice because Sony is always good with the animation and it's very smooth and slick. Uh, they, you know, Clive with the Chance of Meatballs is one of my favorite animated movies of all time because of how slick and clean the animation is. And I will say again, the Emoji movie is really good with the animation. But the story, the music, the comedy, everything is, no, it's not there. It's gone. And now it's time for my number one least liked movie of 2017. You want to know what it is? Let's find out. Hmm. Oh, it says up there. The house. Oh. Oh, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell, please. Um, just you should have stopped at Get Hard. Your new movies are absolutely terrible. Why do you keep trying? Will Ferrell is a national treasure. Let's get that out of the way. He is an absolute national treasure. His comedy is beyond funny. Everywhere he goes, everywhere he's on, like Conan or any show where he talks, he's hilarious in. But these newer movies that he's coming out, Get Hard, um, I forgot if there anything came out after that, but Get Hard and this have just been terrible. And the house is very, very unwatchable. I'm gonna tell you a story. When I watched this movie, um, I was watching it for about 30 minutes. I was kind of invested, and it went on until about 40 minutes, and I got bored of it. So I stopped watching it and went to my room. My dad was still out there watching it, and I go back out there, and it's still on. This movie is, I don't know how long it is, but it's, it seemed very, very long, especially for a comedy. Like, this was going on to Judd Apatow's, like, um, long movies, like, Knocked Up, and This Is 40. It's going on that long. And I looked at it, and it was only an hour and 50. So why the heck does this movie feel so much longer than it actually is? It's because the comedy is terrible. And there's no, there's no redeeming quality to this movie at all. It's not well acted. It's not funny. We've seen it done before, this exact same concept. And that's about it. This movie just sucks. Don't watch it. It's not good. Um, I'm gonna check how long it is after this video is done, but I'm pretty sure it's like, an, it's like over two hours, but I, don't quote me on that. It's not over two hours, but I'm just saying, it might be over two hours. Guys, 2017 has been a phenomenal year for movies. Um, cannot wait for 2018. A couple movies I'm excited for 2018 is, of course, The Incredibles 2. Um, uh, Avengers, Avengers Infinity War is going to be amazing. Uh, what else? Uh, the Grinch from Illumination it might be good. I mean, it might be. It might. It's gonna be at the end of the year, so we have to wait, wait the whole year for it. It might be good. A couple things other. Um, uh, I think Halloween. They're getting a reboot. Uh, they're making a reboot of Halloween. That might be good. Jamie Lee Curtis is gonna be in it, so she's gonna be from the original one, so she can be in this one. It might be good. Anyway, though, so, thank you for watching these two videos. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, once again, like I asked, <clears throat> like I asked for the first one, uh, tell me what your least favorite movies of 2017 were in the comments below. And if you have any other questions, just comment down below and ask me a question. New videos coming up. They're coming. They're coming. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. The Joker says bye, Pennywise says bye, and for some reason I have a random car in the middle of those two. Don't ask. Thanks for watching. Peace out.